In preparation for Ghana Homecoming Summit 2019 in Accra, the Ghana High Commission UK hosted a roadshow at its offices at Highgate, London, which was organized by the UK Diaspora Steering Committee. The aim of the Homecoming Summit is to share with the Ghanaian diaspora how far Ghana has developed as a nation and the areas where the diaspora contribution in terms of investing and volunteering skills, expertise and resources can further aid Ghana's socio-economic development, maintain its position as the leading light of West Africa and eventually Africa as a whole. The achievement of the diaspora towards Ghana's development will also be celebrated. The MC for the day, Kweku Owusu Frimpong, welcome all present, after which Mr. Doji Numakavo, Head of Information at Ghana High Commission UK, started the meeting with an opening prayer. This year's summit has been purposefully designed um, as a celebration of your many remarkable achievements as diasporans, as well as an encouragement to come home and replicate those achievements. Welcome address was delivered by Nacho Cho Soyo the first, who encouraged all present not to forget their root and to support Ghana however they can. And we're asking you to do this through the strategic utilization of the skills you've acquired abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, we understand very well that most of us have set roots abroad and in the host nations. But someone once wrote that it's possible to have roots and wings at the same time. And so my encouragement to you today is that even as your wings allow you to fly and enjoy the many, many wonders of the wider world, you will go home and water the roots. And so even if you're una unable to join us physically and relocate to Ghana, financially, academically, and professionally at least, come home. Ghana is imperfect, our processes need work, Attitudes must change, but my challenge again to you is that you, the diasporans, are best placed to rewrite the script and change the status quo. And frankly, the organizers are only here to bring you together and give the platform. But ultimately, the outcome of the Homecoming Summit is what you make it. So without further ado, I say welcome home. The four-day event itself will recognize and celebrate the immense contribution to nation building by the Ghanaian diaspora. Mr. Bernard Owusu, chairman of the UK Diaspora Committee, spoke about the purpose of the Diaspora Homecoming Summit and the importance of the diaspora for the Ghanaian nation. You will all agree with me that the role of diaspora in nation building, especially in our nation, cannot be understated, starting with our founding fathers who sacrificed liberty, limb, and sometimes life. Over the years, governments have made an attempt to placate our feeling and our desire, coming out with policies that they believe will help encourage the diaspora to either send home their money or relocate home or help with nation building. But unfortunately, some of us have seen it as mere backbiting and platitudes. However, over the last two years, this government has put in place policies and programs that gives us all encouragement. Particularly of mention is the Office of the Diaspora Affairs at the Office of the Presidency, clear in the heart of government. Also, um, we cannot miss the fact that over the last two years, there has been programs, particularly the recent one, which is the extension of passport validity from five years to 10 years. Again, the benchmark duty has been reduced 
And all this came about because of the agitation of the diaspora. As I mentioned, governments have done their part, but there remains more to be done, particularly the twin shackles of constitutional limitation of work and also participation in the electoral process. We as diaspora have our role to play, and the role we play starts now. It starts with you and I, that we get involved in the activities of our country. We have achieved a lot, but as the adage goes, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. His Excellency, Papa Owusu Ankamagana High Commissioner to UK and Republic of Ireland, presented the keynote address. We are hoping that those who participate in next month's summit will have the opportunity to discuss the diaspora engagement policy and then validate it so that going forward, we all know the policies and guidelines that relate to diaspora engagement. And then it will make our participation in matters back home more and more meaningful and beneficial. Of course, uh, I say that for someone who has never lived outside Ghana in his life. Matters affecting the diaspora, I'm passionate about them. I'm looking forward to the time when all barriers to the participation of diasporas in political activities in Ghana, all barriers are removed. So that even those who are dual citizens can become ambassadors and high commissioners and uh, you know members of parliament. <laughs> we are looking forward to that. However, we must we must encourage debate about these matters in the public space in Ghana. There's not much debate going on. But from what I've discovered after being here for two years, we have wide-ranging expertise that we need back home. That is not to say that we don't have expertise back home. However, the expertise here will be the icing on the cake because you have expertise that has rubbed shoulders, as I say, with the best and brightest in the world. Of course, this year's summit is going to be part of the long, the year-long year of return, which was launched by His Excellency the President last year. And I'm hoping that the Chair of the Office of Diaspora will give us a, a brief on what has happened so far. So we are hoping that even within this three-day summit, it will also be enriched by the participation of the African, some members of the African diaspora, and not only uh, the Ghanaian diaspora. So for me as a high commissioner, it's a pleasure to have you here. And I'm very much encouraged by the level of participation. Let's adopt a positive attitude. One thing that grieves me sometimes is when diasporas say that, well, we don't find ourselves acceptable in the country, or we go back home and uh, you don't de do things too well in your in Ghana, back home. I'm saying that you should be the agents of transformation. That is the difference. 
your responsibility is greater than those back home because you've been out you've been exposed and you must make a difference otherwise the exposure the accolades and the, the expertise experiences you've acquired with all due respect is nothing much so thank you very much for coming and let's have a good interaction Thank you. An overview of Homecoming Summit 2019 was given by Akwesi Ewa Abebio, Director of Diaspora Affairs. On this up and coming homecoming, we are entreating you to find time to join us in Ghana. Let's once more deliberate on issues. Let's once more talk about the pertinent issues, the things that matter to us. Let us put these ideas forward so that somebody would one day make things happen for us. Amongst yourself, when you come to Ghana, you have the opportunity to network with people from other places, people from different countries. It's interesting to know that out of the last um, homecoming, we also had a uh, tech summit, which was from so, some guys who had met at that summit and deciding that they, they needed to do this. And they brought almost everybody from Silicon Valley to Ghana, looking for incubating um, can, um, incubation of opportunities to nurture can, uh, you know, IT uh, companies, etc., etc. So there is every opportunity for you to come and see what can be made available. I think in the short period that we have been there as, um, as, you know, as an office, there are some things that have sat on our table that we have been addressing. Some initiatives that we have come up with, and uh, so many of them might interest you, some of which is what, you know, one of which is a development thing that uh, His Excellency mentioned, this um, diaspora engagement policy. This diaspora engagement policy, government's governance being a continuum, is something that we are also making sure would be carried forward, even though it was begun by the previous government. That document was sitting there almost ready for implementation, for, for you know, being passed as a, as a policy. And then we looked at it and we realized that there were one or two touches that it needed to be given to it. So um, we've done some necessary work and we've been able to source some funding and uh, now we are going to be embarking on an exercise Within the next month, we just had that discussion. Some details will be coming through. The community heads would all be required to be assembled to enable us to deliberate on that policy to see how we can make it a prepared document to be submitted for that validation exercise at the homecoming summit. So here is an opportunity for you to play a key role, to be for you to play a part in that policy formulation and policy, you know, uh, initiation and, uh, you know, making sure that things are clearly defined, the goalpost and every sign posted along the lines to let us know where we are going as far as engaging the diaspora is concerned, as far as harnessing your potential is concerned. And this is an opportunity that will be thrown to you. And here we are now, that is the mainstay of the whole country. You have something that you can bring back. You have something that you can contribute to make Ghana even a better place. And that is what we are urging you to come home. And the more you come home, the more you flirt with us, the more you begin to like it. And I bet you something right is happening in that country that would basically sustain your interest. And that's what this um, summit should give you. Look, come home and do what people expect you to do, what they would think you should be, what they think you ought to do, which is you should be whining. Come and whine. We love it. We will do something about it. It's an opportunity to look at what they're talking about to say, yes, this needs to be addressed. So seriously, we are expecting you to, to, to join us. And uh, like His Excellency has already said, we are going to try and make this summit uh, more exciting, more interesting. We are fully aware of the difficulties many diasporans suffer when they return home. This is something that is being addressed. The summit will provide more insight into that. Most importantly, many examples of several countries can be cited of what a fruitful collaboration between their overseas nationals and their governments can bring. 
for their national development and prosperity. It is against this backdrop that it has become necessary for these diaspora engagements such as this summit to take place so the many concerns can be addressed and put to bed for the betterment of the nation. Without dismissing the fact that some of these issues would take some time to be realized, we are determined to see all of them through. Also, with the President's vision of Ghana beyond aid, there can be no justification leaving out an important constituency such as the diaspora. If we are indeed serious about the development of our nation and ready to make out of Ghana the next Singapore, the next Malaysia, and the next Indonesia, the next India, and the many other countries we started the journey with after independence, then it is incumbent on all of us, diaspora, to look back and play our respective roles in ridding our country of underdevelopment and by extension, becoming part of such examples and making Ghana truly a country beyond aid. Linda Wayo gave a presentation about the program of the Homecoming Summit and what to expect at the event. The first three days of the summit would be serious business, talking about investment, business opportunities, and our youth as well. The last day would be the gala to crown it all. The summit itself is a free event, but you'd have to register via our website. But during the day before the closing ceremony, we're going to dedicate part of the day to the youth because I'm sure you all agree they're the future leaders that are going to continue with the good work that we've all started. Alex Dade shared views of a diaspora entrepreneurs and successes the diaspora office achieved in the last two years. So I would encourage you, come in. The opportunities are immense. You have something that the ordinary Ghanaian who is back home hasn't got, which is the culture of corporate governance, culture of a diaspora, which is well sought after. You go in to bring about new ways of doing things. So I would encourage all of you to attend this summit and seek um, the opportunities that it brings. The terrain is very, very fertile. Um, economy is doing very well. Uh, they, 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 they are still challenges, but uh, it's doing relatively well. I think they are all the indicators and that, and it's, it's, it's going to be the fastest growing economy in the world. Akwesi Ajiman. CEO Ghana Tourism Authority gave an overview of year of return celebration. He said that Ghana is the first African country to organize a concerted effort to commemorate the 400 years anniversary of the arrival of the first enslaved Africans in the United States in 1619. The Year of Return, Ghana 2019, is a year-long commemoration and celebration of the global African resilience. 2019 has been declared a year of return by His Excellency the President. And the story is quite simple. 400 years ago, our ancestors were forcefully seized and shipped out. And the first landing in Jamestown, Virginia was 1619 on the 20th of August. So 400 years later, Ghana has taken the lead. As the country to first centrally organized, have an organized return program called the Year of Return. Like I indicated, 1619, 2019, 400 years, Jamestown, Virginia, London, we have Jamestown, Accra. So the similarities are quite strong. And we are anchoring our tourism program for the year 2019 on this sad but a story that needs to be told about African resilience. So in the U.S., there is an act that has been passed by the U.S. Congress, H.R. 1242, to celebrate 400 years of African-American history. And we said, let's also join forces and tell our brothers and sisters in the diaspora that this is a time to come home. Hence the year of return. We're also hoping that we can re-engage 
the global African family with opportunities and investments. Um, in Ghana, if you come, for some of them who have come in, especially from the Caribbean and the African Americans, have set up a lot of businesses in the hospitality industry. We have hotels that are owned by African Americans. We have uh, training schools that are owned by uh, people from the Caribbean. And so through the year of return and bringing people to come and sample the country, we hope that more business opportunities will be opened up and they will take advantage of that. And so we are working very closely with the Office of the Diaspora Affairs, Office of the President, to see how the year of return is not just about the Caribbean, not about just about African Americans, but also about the Ghana diaspora, about the second generation Ghanaians, about the third generation Ghanaians, and how we can really get everybody engaged on the Ghana story, which is a very progressive story. Part two of the program was a Q&A session moderated by Kweku Owusu Frimpong.